Hello friends, welcome back. This is Majuna Chandriya. Today's session we'll be learning how to sum between two dates using sum if function. If you're new to this channel, do subscribe, hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings. Let's start the session. So we have a small data here, the customer, department, invoice, date and the amount. So the criteria what we are trying to match is we need to sum a total between two dates. For example, April 90, April 1st to 31st July. So for that, you see, you can see here till 30th, 31st. If you add all this, it comes to 313-9600. So I need to get this total here rather than filtering it. So for that, we can use the summary function. So we have two criteria here. We'll go by one by one, okay? Okay, let's start with the first criteria. So here we, are, we need to sum the to sum the amount based on the two dates. For that, you can use sum if function. S U M sum if open bracket. So you can use this uh, insert function. So it is much easier to understand what we need to add the criteria. So the first criteria it says is sum range. So what we are trying to sum sum the amount. So select all the amount till range. Since it is it between the ranges. F F2 to F15, so you can do a F4 function to freeze the or lock the cells. So I have locked using the dollar sign. Next, it says criteria range. So criteria range is nothing but it says range. So range on what basis we are trying to sum the total based on the dates, right? So this date obviously it's 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 in this invest rate column. So it says range. So I need to select the range here. So I am selecting this entire range do f4 function to log the range so in this what you are trying to check is criteria one what's criteria is from date so i'm going to select this date okay next is criteria range two so what we are trying to range to is nothing but date next is the two date so it says range so i'll go ahead and select the range here f4 so in that what we are trying to check is two date so if i select date so now the result you can see here it shows zero. So if I click OK, I'll get zero value here. So what is the problem? We are getting a zero. The reason is here we are given only the date. We are not specified uh, what exactly because it's trying to check only for this particular date, April first. Obviously April first it is not here, right? So that's the reason. What we need to do is you need to add greater than, okay, and add and. So greater than is the text format. So and the and is for if it is greater than this date, April first. So it, it should need to pick. So if I move if I move the cursor from this uh, uh, box to next box, so you can see here it is changing. See now the reason is the the here the formula the cell is taking as double uh, double double quote here. So you need to remove this. Add only double quote to the text so any special characters or text if you are adding in a formula you need to add a double code so now i add it see uh, once you add it i can see the data data is popping up here so this function uh, if you use this uh, function argument we can see what uh, result you are getting so greater than or equal to so let's say if it is april first also you should take so greater than or equal to so these are special characters i am closing with the double quotes double quote ending with the double quote and and is that because since it is a text format, adding up with the cell, so we need to add an AND function to collaborate between the text and the uh, cell, range cell. So you have selected range here, cell here. So next, again, same thing here. This is this is for the criteria one, nothing, nothing but April 1st. So April 1st, greater than or equal to April 1st. So we need to close the two date saying that it should be, it should fall on 31st or less than that. So obviously, we can we can give an argument here as open its double quote less than or equal to close the double quote and add add the end function so now once you add this end function click ok so you can know you can see the total is changing here so click ok so let's put the sign let's type total it here so from april to july 313 it is matching so only thing is very important you need to add this 
signs of greater than or equal to and 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 give the and and the cell number if you don't give so you end up getting your get value as zero okay so next criteria so here multiple criteria so we have customer sales in that we need to find between the dates so i have taken the same dates let's see so if this customer one uh, in sales department how much he has made the money let's see so again use the summary function so you have multiple criteria so here we had only one criteria right one year and one year two criteria but here one two three and four criteria so we need to add four criteria using a uh, sum if function again miss click this in function box so it is says sum range so sum obviously it's a uh, amount column i'm selecting it use f4 function to fill it again next is criteria range one so criteria first criteria is customer you go by an order so customer it says range the customer one is in which column in c column so i'm going here to the customer criteria range one i'm going to the customer column selecting it raising it using f4 in this what you are trying to check in this uh, c column we are trying to check the customer number one so i'm selecting the customer number one here so next criteria is sales obviously sales department is in column d so it says range so i'll go directly to this uh, entire range select it use f4 in that we are trying to in this d column we are trying to check for the sales so i'm selecting this cell so now adding this to total we are getting up a total of this much but we have multiple criteria again we have need to check for the dates same thing date from date obviously dates in the e column so it says range so i'm directly go to the range column and select the entire range from the master data so in that we are trying to look for the this particular date from date so what you can do so as you know we need to give this sign here it's greater than you start with the double quote give this sign or equal to you want to say that if you it is in april first we should take close the double quote give the end so again hit a tab so it will it will give my uh, few more criteria so now again jumps to the next criteria so we are given this from date so we need to find for a two date so again it says range but it's two date it's in the column e so i'm going and selecting this enter column to f4 so i, I know just a second i made a mistake here select the entire column do f4 freezing the rocks and do click tab in this e column again we are looking for the two date so for two date we need to give a less than or equal to close with the double quotes open and close the double quotes for the cell you need to give a and so, if you, so once you give and the total is popping up here let's click okay Okay, now we got the total of 16 5 7 100 so let's try check so so customer one till 31st april so 31st april we have only one customer here sales the amount is 1657 let's put marketing here so yes the customer one doesn't didn't have any amount let's change the customer to three so customer 3 has a marketing amount of 7914 between here to this so let's say customer 1 let's put the date as say 10th November so let's put 10th not here it's two date 11th so let's add 10 so now we have 81 9 300 so customer one say marketing so customer one marketing we have only one that is between uh, november 10th it is still to more than this it is checking till november 10th the amount is 81 and 3. so only thing is uh, use the summit function and uh, when you're adding a date make sure that you add the uh, signs here greater than or equal to and the closing with the uh, less than that date or less than or equal to so that you get your values using the double quote and with the double quote add and with this cell 
i hope uh, this session was interesting if you think uh, the video was interesting do subscribe hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings and do like the video thank you for your time happy learning